Internal and External Communication, IGCSE Business 0450, Crazy IGCSE. Welcome back to Crazy IGCSE. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE, where you can study eight IGCSE subjects, which include ESL, Maths, Science, Business, Economics, and Accounting. It also includes tips and solve past papers. So here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Please do subscribe and share. Here's the syllabus for internal and external communication. So we're gonna look at why effective communication is important and the methods used to achieve it and demonstrate an awareness of the communication barriers. So why effective communication is important and the methods used to achieve it. And now first we're gonna look at the definition of communication. So communication is a process by which information or instructions is exchanged between one group or a person to another. Internal communication is one type of communication and this is communication from and to people within the business. And an example is when employees talk to each other. So employees are right within the business. That's why it is internal communication or if the director is sending an email to the employees or a notice board in office. So all the information is derived within the business and that's internal communication. Then poor internal communication leads to workers not understanding what they have to do. So that will lead to mistakes. Then poor motivation. Also, it causes wastage. So there'll be inefficiency in the business. For example, Two employees do the wrong task because the wrong instructions have been passed on. Now, external communication is another type of communication. This is a communication from people inside the business to people outside the business. So an example is employees talking to customers. Employees are within the business and customers are outside the business. So employees talking to customers is a communication which is external. Then ordering materials from suppliers and advertisements. So advertisements, it is external because the customers are the ones who are getting to know from an outside source and they're not getting to know from the business. So like they're not inside the business, but the people inside the business are passing information through advertisements to their customers regarding certain products. Now, poor external communication leads to unhappy customers, which will lead to fewer sales, a bad business reputation. So it will be a low brand image and that will also lead to lower sales, problems with suppliers or customers due to the incorrect information. So here an example is wrong supplies being delivered and that might also uh, delay the production of products. So here are some definitions. First is formal communication. This is when it is recognized and approved by businesses. Examples are formal emails, official meetings, or reports. The informal communication is information which is sent and received casually without any form formality, like an employee talking to another employee during lunch break. Then there are two types of communication, which is one-way communication and two-way communication. One-way communication is a communication that does not allow for a response. So there is no response to the communication. Two-way is when a communication is where the receiver sends feedback to the sender about the topic. So two-way includes feedback. Advantages of two-way communication is that the receiver can tell the sender that they have understood the information or instruction. So, in, so feedback can be passed on and there's a chance to ask for more information. It also allows the receiver to contribute their ideas. There are three types of methods, three methods of communication, which is verbal, visual, and written. Verbal communication is like discussions, telephone calls, meetings, and advantages include that it is quite fast. The opportunity is there for a receiver to reply, which is a basically known as a two-way communication. Then you can also observe the body language of the person. Disadvantages include feedback from receivers slows down the process. No permanent record for the discussion. Written communication is like emails, reports, newsletters, notices. Advantage advantages are permanent record of message. 
it may be required by law like legal information or safety notices it can be easily sent to many people like emails to all employees this advantages of written communication is that the reader may find long letters boring and hard to read thus they may not read the email then there be no feedback from receiver unless they reply and you cannot observe the body language of the person because you're not seeing them or not hearing them you're just seeing what they have typed then visual communication is like posters images videos graphs or charts or diagrams advantages include that they are interesting so readers may pay more attention to the posters and video videos than the boring letters information can be clearer than other methods like video instructions can be clearer than letter instructions this advantages include that there is no feedback in this method and some people may find charts or graphs difficult to read now there are certain communication barriers like problems with the sender so this is when there is difficult or technical language used so the sender will need to use the language that needs to be that can be understandable by the sender if the sender speaks too quickly or not clear enough so the sender should ensure that the message is clear the sender sends the wrong message or sends it to the wrong receiver so the sender must make sure that the right person is being sent the correct message and other type of communication barrier is problems with the communication channel so the wrong communication channel was used like important letter placed on board that does not get seen the appropriate communication method must be selected there is no opportunity for feedback so sender uses one way communication channel which does not allow receiver to contribute ideas so they need to switch to a two way communication channel which allows feedback to be exchanged then long chain of command so messages need to be sent through a long chain of chain of command where the message could be changed 